Well, okay guys, good morning. Can you hear me? Thumbs up if you can hear me. Yes, Jay, can you hear me? Christine? Yes. Jake, are you there? He's busy spamming me. Jake, can you hear me? Yes, okay, good. So guys, welcome to this new week of online classes. I know it has been a challenge for you, also for, for the teachers, but well, it's a different way to study and it's, it's fun. I consider it's, it's fun. Mm, so this week we are going to continue working. Um, and then um, today we are going to check like some aspects of literature that we need to analyze before continue reading our book, yes? Um, all of you, did you download the book in Class Dojo? Did you download the yes. book? No? Yes. Well, at, yes. At, the end, at the end of the class, I'm, uh, I'm gonna put the, the link oh. of the oh, Teacher, teacher, already one week I cannot open Class Dojo. Uh, I, re I already three times asked teacher kid and then yesterday um, he uh, already um, replied. Oh, well, okay. Well, he not, he not reply me. I, okay, I will, I will send the, the link of the book in the chat and in that way you can dow download the, the book. Yeah, oh, Rainer, did you print it out? Wow, amazing. Very good, Rainer. Very nice. Okay, good. Yes, that's even better. Okay, so guys, remember if you can print it, amazing. If not, you can read online. Yes, but I would prefer that you print it out because it's easier to read. Okay, good. So I'm going to share my screen and then today we are going to study about, about some elements. Okay, so today we are going to study some elements of historical fiction. Remember to take your books, your notebooks of language and literature. At the end of this week, I'm gonna give some more class dojo points. So remember to take notes in your book, okay? So the lesson today is elements of historical fiction, okay? So, what are we going to learn? Okay, well, no problem. Okay, so this essential agreement, remember to turn on your camera, for example, I cannot see the camera of Christine and Komatsu. Okay, hello Komatsu and Christine, I cannot see your camera. Okay, well. Uh, also, second, remember to take notes in your notebook, uh, have pen and paper, and remember to participate and to collaborate in all the lessons. Okay, so those are our objectives today. So, oh, sorry. So I'm gonna ask uh, Yoga, could you please read the KUD, the objectives of this lesson, please? Students will be able to make the seven elements of historical fiction, character, dialogue, setting, them, plot, conflict, and world building. Yes. Uh, Brian, could you read you? Letter U. Uh, 
and students will be able to understand the writers use Como and learn to communicate universal themes, suffering, peace, and war. Okay, yeah. thank you. And uh, Komatsu, could you read D? Students will create a mind map using Google explaining the characteristic of each element of historical fiction and justify it with evidence from the trailer. Exactly. Thank you, Komatsu. Okay, so those are the activities that we are going to do today. Okay. So, uh, I need, uh, I'm going to show you, I'm going to explain uh, a website, but first you need to write these four questions in your notebook. Okay, so please write these four questions. What are themes in literature? Are there any common themes in literature? What are the elements of historical fiction? And choose your favorite out of seven and describe what it is. So write these four points in your notebook. I'm gonna give you five minutes to write that. Teacher, what is the topic? Mm. Seven elements of historical fiction. Exactly, yes. That's our topic. Okay. So we copy all these questions. Yeah, so you write these four questions in your notebook. When you finish, thumbs up, please. Teacher. Yes, trainer. Do you write the question and then after that we answer the question? Just these four questions and then I'm going to explain. Okay. Yes, and with the explanation you answer.
Okay, finish, all of you. Well. Okay, one more minute. Not yet. Oh, sorry. What it is? Not yet. Done. Okay. Who is missing? Nobody. Okay. So, so then we are going to check the the seven elements of historical fiction, and according to my explanation you are going to answer those questions, okay? So let's go to this part. So those are, those are as in the image, those are the seven elements of historical fiction. It's plot, conflict, theme, setting, world building, characters, and dialogue. We are going to check each of those, okay? So, all the writers, when, when, they, are, when they are thinking, when they are imagining uh, a story, they need to take into account those seven aspects, those seven, uh, those seven elements, yes? And the story is based on, on those elements, okay? So we are going to check each, okay? Well, first, uh, you need to answer question number one, that is about the theme. So we are going to begin with theme, because our first question is each. What are themes in literature? So we are going to check theme. So most themes present history, and yet theme must still be interpreted within the context of a novel time period. So we are going to check what are the themes. Those are some examples. Ambition, madness, loyalty, deception, revenge, yes. Love, temptation, guilt, power, heroism, hope, coming of age, death, loss, friendship, patriotism. Those are some themes, so that could be the answer of this question, what are themes in literature? Oh. So those are some common themes that you can find in different literature. Uh, so. Yes. The, uh, the orange one here. Okay. But I still need to finish the number four. Okay. For example, our book of the House of Sixty Fathers, which topic do you consider is our book? Which of those topics? What do you think? Who wants to talk?
Okay, so for example, our book, it's related to fate, destiny, hope, loss, friendship, patriotism. Those are our, like the topics of our book. Okay, done. Oh. Okay. What are the elements of historical fiction? I I sitting over and there is uh we are going to go out. there in a while. Just wait. Okay, good. Let's continue. So, for example, this question, what are the elements of historical fiction? So, as I told you at the beginning, those are the elements of historical fiction. So, you can write these names or maybe you can also make this circle in your notebook, as you prefer. You can make a list or you can make a circle. So we have plot, conflict, theme, setting, war building, characters, and dialogue. So now I'm going to explain each of these seven elements. And of those seven, you are going to choose one. And then in your notebook, you are going to explain one. Yes, I'm going to explain the seven, but you're going to choose one and then you're going to write the explanation. Okay, just one of the of the seven that I'm going to explain. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, with, with, yes, Rainer. After choosing the favorite out of seven, the the what else? The, the elements we explain like example like uh, what a dialogue blah 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 like that. You just you just are you are going to write the definition of just one. You don't need to write the definition of the seven, just one. You decide, it could be character, dialogue, setting, you just choose one, okay? I'm going to explain seven, but you choose one, okay? So let's begin with the characters, yes? So it's like very important part of a story. So the characters could be real, could be imaginary, and they, and they allow that the story can have a different flow okay so the characters could be humans could be objects could be animals and in the stories you need to describe the characters describe the physical appearance their attitudes their beliefs their expectations their personalities yes so that is characters okay so the next one dialogues so in a in a story of course you need to have different conversations different dialogues 
because that's the way that you can understand the the story and and you can imagine what the different characters are talking about so in most of the stories the dialogues could be in present or in past and that allows the reader to understand what is the period of time that the story is happening And the dialogues can have different meanings and in some cases could be misinterpreted. Okay, so that is the dialogues. Okay, so first one, characters. Second, dialogues. Okay, let's take a look to the other one. The setting. So setting is two things. is the time and the place. Yes? when is the story when the story is happening so i don't know in in the 20th century in in the future in in 2050 or i don't know in 1999 or in 2010 or in 2020 so the first one is the time when is happening and the second is the place where where the story is going to take place so i don't know in in brian what are you doing with the camera <laughs> so for example uh, if the story is in london or it's in japan or it's in a park or it's in the moon in mars or in the sea okay and uh, most of the stories they are in the past most of the writers they focus in the past but there are also some futuristic stories okay so is the way that you when you read a book you can you can like transport yourself in the past in the in the paragraphs you can be transported that's the magic of literature of reading that you can travel over the time okay so that is setting now let's continue with the theme so the theme it tells us the context it contains like what what uh, where is the story the different parameters the different characteristics of a story. So we already wrote about, about that theme. Okay, I'm going to continue because we already checked that thing. Okay, then we have the plot. So the plot, it's like the story itself is it's the different sentences that make sense of the story and it it takes into account different historical events the events that are taking place at that time So in, few, in other words, the plot is telling a story. Yes, it's to tell a story. That is the plot. It's the way in, in which you tell a story. Okay, and now we have the conflict. So it's the action of the books. It's the most interesting part of the books. So it's the different problems, the different actions that, that the story has. So it's combined with the theme and the plot, and then they create a conflict, a climax. You remember the climax of the pyramid? 
So the conflict could be realistic or could be imaginary, but it's like the main action in the books. And uh, to have a good conflict, the readers, they need to understand the full context, the different reasons that are taking part in the story. Good. And finally, the seventh element is the world building. So it's the way in which you order the different words, the different sentences in, in different contexts. So it's the way in which the readers can understand the setting and the story and to differentiate between social classes, between family, religions, structures, physical geography, because you know that depending on the situation, we have different uh, kinds to talk. It's, it's a different way when you talk with your friends, when you talk to, with your parents, when you talk with your teacher. So the world building is the way in which the, the speech is characterized and then you can define who are you talking with. Okay, and then those are the seven elements. So, now each of you, you are going to, 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 to tell me about one of the sevens, okay? Remember that of those sevens, you have chosen one. So you're going to explain me the one that you choose of these seven. Okay. So let's begin with Jake. Which one did you choose? I choose the plot. Okay. And what is the plot? Plot means telling the story, not history. Okay. Yes. That's it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. It's the way in which you, you tell the story, okay? It's like the basis of the story, okay? How you organize the words. Thank you, Jake. What about Osvaldo? Which one did you choose? I chose theme. The theme. How to spell um, is a context, It's contain different characteristic. Okay, yeah. Okay. Is the different characteristics of, of the context. Okay, great. What about Ryan? I choose world building. World building. Okay, what is that? Why to know who are you talking with? Okay. Is it's the way in which you talk. Okay, is the different ways of talking, different kinds of a speech. Okay, good. Komatsu, which one did you choose? Of those seven, explain one of the of the seven. Theme. Theme. What is theme? Mm, the back. Mm, okay. Yes, it's like the topic, like the topic of the story, the content. Okay. Mm, what about Christine? Which one did you choose? Uh, uh, setting. Okay, what is setting? It's the place and the time. Perfect. Exactly, yes. It's where and when. The place and the time in which the story is happening. Great, thank you. Hey, Rainer. Uh, I 
Which one? Uh, character. Characters. Okay, what is that? It's a person in a novel, play, or movie. Okay, yes. It's the people that are the main characters of the of the story yes remember they can be people but they can also be animals they can be objects they can be material or unmaterial things imaginary or real things okay uh, finally yoga which one did you choose? I chose, I chose dialogue okay that one was missing what is the dialogue Dialogue is like text that characters are talking. Exactly, yes. Those are the different conversations that the characters are having. Okay, good. So guys, uh, to finish this class, I'm going to share with you in here the, the book. And then you can... Okay. I'm going to share okay. the link. The question number two, that one, are there any common themes in literature? Not yet. Okay, that is like the number one and number two are like the same. What's the same? Like theme is like the definition of what is theme. So theme is the, the topic, the context of the story. And then... Question number two, which are the kinds of things? So that is question number two. Okay. So guys, please open the chat. Open the chat and uh, please uh, click on the, sorry, click on the link. And then in the link, you can see the different chapters of the book. So from now you can print chapter one, yes? So when you click in that link, you should open this window and then you can see here the chapter one of the book. That is the chapter that we were reading the last week, okay? Because this week we are going to continue reading the, the first chapter. Okay. Uh, sir. Yes. I already have this uh, paper. Chapter uh, one, two, and three. Yes. Bring it. Yes. Nice. So, so I, in the link so or I, so in in Class Dojo, if you go to Class Dojo, let's go to M one. So if you go to Class Dojo. And then you go to the class. You can check here in the stories that I attach the, the link for the book. And also you can download the book from that website. Okay. So please download it now. And where am I? But I Many teachers are writing, but so you can for my message. Yes, questions? Dim is a topic or a big idea, right? Yes, the, the topic, the context, exactly. Okay. Yes. Well, okay, guys, we are going to stop for today. Thank you so much. And see you tomorrow. Have a nice day. Okay, don't forget to download the book. Okay, so goodbye. See you tomorrow. Okay.